Welcome back. Tax reform on tap for Congress now that Obamacare and the replacement plan is officially on the table. We will hear from Kevin Brady today, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. We're going to take you to that press conference live when Kevin Brady and his colleagues announce the specifics of his Obamacare replacement. How do business leaders feel about these plans? Joining us right now is the CEO of Overstock.com, Patrick Byrne, in the studio. It is great to see you in the studio. What an honor, Maria. Thank Thanks you. for having me. Thank you so much for joining us. What's your take on tax reform on the Obamacare repeal and replacement? that you're hearing, is this going to impact your business? Well, my take on it, uh, yes, it will impact my business, as, as all, this, all these changes will, but uh, I'm, I'm, I actually think it's, it's uh, exactly the right course. We absolutely need tax reform. I'm a big fan of Milton Friedman, and he was all in favor of simplifying the tax code on the expenditures, turning things into vouchers or tax credits are essentially like vouchers. So this, this idea of changing the tax code and the new, Obama, the new replacement for Obamacare has tax credits in it is a really good way to simplify the system. Uh, we want to talk about that. We want to drill down. But, but let me just get your take on this so-called border adjustment mm. tax because that's the one area and a lot of retailers, you know, your industry have been complaining that if they have to pay a border tax, they are going to turn around and raise prices. It's going to be a negative for consumers. What do you think? Well, absolutely we will. Of course we will. If they are put a 40% border tax on, then on th those goods, we'll have to raise the price 40%. Ultimately, we're kind of indifferent because we're really in the business of moving electrons and photons around, and it doesn't really matter where the supply comes from. But absolutely, that tax all gets passed on to consumers. It's, uh, somebody's kidding themselves if they think that you know, the companies are just going to eat it. Yeah, I mean, J Dagan, one auto analyst, I think I told you last week, told me that the average price of a car is $30,000 with a border adjustment tax. He has no expectation that that's, that that's going to stay there. It's going to go either to $32,000 or even $40,000 for the average price of a car. You could see double-digit increases in the price of imported goods at Target, at Walmart, at the cost of gasoline even. But to that point, if individuals are paying more for the goods that they buy elsewhere, that does hurt your business. If there's a tax increase on a broad swath of the American public, and do you have a voice in terms of telling the Trump administration, hey, don't get on board with this border adjustment tax? Well, like, do you have that? Do you have, a, do you have a bat phone? I don't have a bat phone with the Trump administration. I'm surprisingly, uh, I, I, I have no, no contact with You've got to get a bat phone. Yeah, well, do you make, are they for sale? Anyway, <laughs> well, maybe this is the bat phone. Uh, no, I don't have any in with them. But I, actually, I do know Stephen Moore, our friend Stephen Moore. I know yeah. him quite well. Uh, and he's advising Trump on tax policy. Uh, so, yeah, well, the, the border, you know, there's not been an economist in 200 years who was against free trade, it seems. But your friend and mine, Warren Buffett, about 20 years ago, wrote a very controversial essay about that, that basically would have amounted to saying we have to balance our trade, budget, uh, our trade deficit. Uh, so it's kind of funny that. Although every economist I respect is pro-free trade, it does seem to have some, some impose some costs on society that, yeah. that Buffett and Trump both want. Well, he's, he's, he hasn't bought into it yet, Trump. How about your, your own business? Are you seeing with this new administration, are you seeing changes that are encouraging you to, to invest more and hire more people? What are you doing this year on the investment in hiring? We are, yeah, we are growing, and there seems to be, there's been a spike in consumer confidence, which gets people spending and such, that can reverse just as quickly as it starts. But yes, we are seeing that, the effect of this. So, so what, what's changed? How, how much more are you, are you planning to, to invest and hire this year compared to what you oh, are doing? Oh, it would probably be... Earlier? Uh, what I think about is probably the equivalent of 50 to 100 jobs, additional jobs, due to that increase buoyed uh, consumer confidence. Well, wait a second. Let's go back to what Dagan was talking about earlier. And Dagan, you said that the new repeal and replace does it, it, it gets rid of the Medicare subcharge, surcharge tax for high earners, right? And there's a dividend tax uh, that goes away too. 3.8 yeah, percent investment income tax that goes away. That has to be positive for you, the yeah. Obamacare replacement. Oh, yeah. Well, there's a lot about the Obamacare. Just ripping up Obamacare, frankly, is for the good. That will unfetter some economic processes. So just there are so many distortions yeah. in the market from Obamacare that just getting rid of that is going to help. Really great stuff. Patrick, good to see you. Thank you. Thanks so much, Patrick Burmel.